all addiction is based due to childhood trauma. Now, I know you might disagree with me, and I know this is a big, bold statement, and it seems like it's a very generalized idea. But what if I told you it absolutely isn't? Now, here is why you might disagree with me. You see, I'm saying this from experience. Every single person I've ever worked with, and it doesn't matter whether we were looking to overcome insomnia or anxiety or depression, irritable bowel syndrome, um, any other kind of chronic pain issue, whatever it was, so often attached to that condition will be an addiction of some sort. Not always, but sometimes it will be, right? Uh, the person will be like, oh my God, I came to you for insomnia, but I now also stopped drinking alcohol. I came to you for anxiety, but now I also stopped smoking cigarettes, right? Now, the reason I say all addiction is due to childhood trauma, and you might disagree, is because you might not know that there was childhood trauma. You might be the kind of person who says, you know, my childhood was great, it was perfect, my parents were wonderful, I grew up in a great neighborhood, I had an amazing education, all those things. But what you don't know is what you as a five-year-old or a three-year-old or as an eight-year-old or whatever house number we can give to this, you do not know what your nervous system might have perceived as a traumatic event overwhelming event where you felt helpless, you felt hopeless, you felt lost, you felt unloved, you felt just, it was overwhelming. That was the onset of the real problem, the anxiety, that condition, the addiction. And so often that doesn't even express itself until years later. Why is that? Because there was a trigger that now triggered that addiction or behavior and now all of a sudden it seems like it's full blown. So this is not a very logical, linear, you know, conscious awareness process. But again, it's, it's not fair to assume that addiction wasn't call, caused due to child. And I can guarantee you it was. Just because it's outside of your conscious awareness doesn't mean it wasn't caused in childhood. And I wanted to share this with you, with you today, believe it or not, to actually give you comfort, to give you a realization that stop blaming yourself and shaming yourself and feeling embarrassed and using willpower. And I want, and I this, that when yes, that's useful. I mean, the judging and the blaming is not useful. Having the willpower, having the desire to overcome this addiction, that's great. But willpower alone is not, chances are not going to get you there. If the root cause was childhood trauma. So I hope this is useful. Again, I just wanted to shed light on this because so many people um, carry on with this problem for a very, very long time, causing more pain, more suffering, more negative consequences needlessly. And of course, hypnosis is the fastest, most effective way known to me that can help you break this addiction should you have one.